Okay. Hi everyone. Uh, this is me again. And uh, now I'm going to attempt to finish this planet. I have a raid in WoW in two hours. So hopefully I shall be able to finish this planet before then. Chuba the Maxa. Womi Topi. Piggy lizard or something. I still got it. Oh, companion gift. How cute. Master Rajvar is gone. The Council survived. We failed. They'll come for us. They'll have to lay siege if they want to take us prisoner. We can't give in. Master Rajvar's fifth principle says, showing mercy to an enemy creates a spiral of destruction. We'll take plenty of Jedi with us. Such a pleasant man he was. <laughs> Finished. Indeed, he is finished. Not even a challenge. Uh. That wasn't too bad. Not even a challenge. Constantly say uh, like a selection of three, maybe four or five sentences, and uh, another Jedi much. today, my seventh. Master Rajavari formed an army from the allies he found past the mountains. We could sure use them now, but they vanished, just left their servants, those cannibals in their stupid camps. 
Master Rajabari's second principle says all life is a battle, even to your last breath. But our allies didn't leave us a choice. Uh, the bleeding won't stop. Blast it! Why did I watch Fadria's back? Well, he Master Rajwari's seventh principle said it. Sacrificing your strength is the it's path of a fool. I should have just let her die. It doesn't matter. This siege is nearly over. Just, uh, this can only end one way. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, 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 the... I want to say face paint, but that's definitely not the word. The makeup, right? Ah, it it's impossible! Why would my master assign me a trial that can't be done? What are you carrying on about? Oh, you startled me. I didn't see you approach. My master says there are valuable materials behind that boulder over there. But get this, the blasted thing can't be moved! My instructions were to go to a platform in the ruins. Meditate and let the force empower me. But I've meditated till I can't see straight and nothing. Well, clearly he hasn't mastered the art of meditating quite yet. That's rather pathetic for a Padawan, isn't it? I did everything I could. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get drummed out of the order because I can't move a rock that can't be moved. It's absurd. Hey. What if maybe you could help me? Are you good at this meditation thing? There's no doubt about it. Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver. So just kneel at the altar nearby. Supposedly, if you find deep inner peace, you'll be able to move the boulder. If you fail, I can tell my master it wasn't just me who couldn't move it. Now, what can I say? This Paduan here, this flingled, flingled is a retard. Clearly. Because, uh, dude, all you need to do is meditate and use the force to move a rock. So hard. Oh, God. I can't decide if I'm ashamed that I couldn't do it or happy that my mission is complete. That's not. There was supposed to be something important behind the boulder. Then we should continue the search. But. Iniki. Master Quiljake. Why are you here? Manji doti puna puna. Kabuk nuni slemo. Kuta chuta, kasu yali kulira, tanki kum. But master, it's not my fault. I didn't ask for help. I I, I tried to decline. Sure. That is simply not true, Master Quiljake. Kunamo, uban chone alipa, istin koto, wonki ataja kapa donka, jisa bicha. Kutogi kumpa. You. It's all your fault. You ruined my chances. Of course. Kunamo. Uban Chone Alipa. Eastin Koto. So, in truth, you forced him to fight himself. Handi Kwa Haikuma. Ooh, such achievement. Manchi Doti Puna Puna. Kabuk Nuni Slemo. Oka kiza spida perupa, 
kabwa shiniko higa danulia. I did nothing noteworthy, just what was called for. Gushu cho skronki to bad slemo. Ektusta barawanga, ne suburkobo pomo? Yes, yes, master. Imache churon chika chiliska chanaga. Stronghold, which is my apartment, kind of. Um, while I'm at it, I can show you around for a little bit. I'm going to grab my. <laughs> Sorry. Um, grab my. Um, um, experienced legacy armor set. The one nice thing that there was about the Dark versus Light event. Like, I mean, did I really want to play the entire game again? No, not really. Because been there, done that, done that again, and again, and then again, and then again. And then I had to do it again just to get a armor set. But oh well, it gives me a pretty decent experience boost, so in my opinion it was worth it. Behold my apartment. We... Okay, so this is my house. Um, oh well, this is the foyer. Uh, first things first, we're going to access the legacy stronghold storage. This is a kind of storage that uh, that is shared between all my characters on this server. Unfortunately, the game lags quite a lot when I try to open it. Okay, here we go. Uh -huh, here we go. Okay, this is great. This is gonna be great. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you the outfit designer since as you can see this is my gear now and it's in no way attractive i look like a fucking trooper and i don't want to look like a trooper so i'm going to go here to the um to the outfit designer this is my outfit number one the only one that i have unlocked at the moment and by activating the outfit I have changed my gear to look the way I want it to look even though I'm wearing the uh, legacy gear set I still look like I'm wearing something else and now I'm gonna equip these and these I got from a quest on a different character which thankfully I could send over and so now I'm really gonna kick ass. Let's focus on what we're doing, okay? She's so sweet, isn't she? Okay. Great, now I can delete these because need them. I have saved them to the outfit slot, so now they're not going to um, take 
up space in my bag. Now I'm going to open up this one um, and put a moment there I forgot how it's doing um, <laughs> power endurance crit mastery power for now I think because like, why not okay now we're going to open up the trailer. Because now I'm level 10, so I have... Oh, yes. Yes, thank you. Finally. I learned how to ride a speeder. Finally. Okay, so I got a few more abilities. Uh, the first one is Force Potency. It's like a buff. Um, I use it and it gives me like two charges that um, increase my uh, something something. Now let's read. Grants two charges of force potency, which increases the force critical chance of your direct attack attacks and heals by 60%. Each time a direct force ability critically hits, or each time a channeled force ability is activated, one charge is consumed. Lasts for 20 seconds. So basically, it's an offensive cooldown, which is it's pretty nice once you actually get into things. And now I get this one force and balance is a kind of an aoe thing okay now let's run around real quick here i have like in this room all the utility stuff the guild bank the legacy bank the personal character bank which reminds me i should dump some of these things in here just because they annoy me Uh, it's not exactly that they annoy me per se, it's just that they take up space. Okay, I'm gonna leave that, that I'm gonna activate. Okay, now I have a speeder. Okay, I'm going to drag it up there. Okay, so now I get a jetpack. It's pretty hideous, honestly, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so let's have a walk around. Here's my Datacron room. You get this thing by collecting all of the Datacrons in the game. And here are these, all the pictures. They are uh, trophies from my uh, operation achievements that I've killed such and such boss on a nightmare difficulty. These are all nightmare, I think. Yeah, th these are. Cool. Okay, over here there's like a. Uh, well, more achievements and like plants. These are uh, nodes, like crafting nodes can gather them like once every four hours or so. These are hard mode achievements. Uh, here we have a garage of sorts. Actually no, it's just a weird room. I'm not entirely sure what exactly it's for, but... <laughs> here we have a mailbox. Uh, here's a GTN. It's like an auction house thingy. Okay, you can go upstairs. Here's like a shinies. Shiny thingies. Um, the outside we have some like a sort of a casino area, some palm trees, and, like pride and joy, the giant fucking holocron. And down this street, more crafting nodes and pictures. And up here are the boss kill uh, statues, the dreadmasters. My throne. Uh, here we have some pictures, put pictures, plants. Here's like a holocron, more pictures, more plants. Here we have my office. Uh, and this is my office. Apparently, I do my important Jedi work from up here. My Jedi, uh, my very important Jedi paperwork. Yeah. 
definitely. Uh, here we have my bedroom, nice and cozy. Just the way I like it. And here is a kind of lounge, bar, area, thingy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, rounds up the tour of my stronghold uh, of my Coruscant apartment. And now, um, and now we shall fuck off back to Typhon. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, there we go. Okay, um, we need to go back to and talk to Master Yuan. So let's go. We shall do just that. Now things are going to go a little bit Sometimes you use the jet boost and it doesn't really uh, load in, so it just looks like you're running very, very fast. I like it when that happens. Okay, let's see what Master Yuan has to say. Master Yuan, I have the clues we need. Oh, part of one. Back already? What clues did you find? I think I recovered enough of Rajavari's philosophy to help me. So the Jedi besieged Kaleth after Rajavari tried to kill the Council, and his apprentices held the line all by themselves. Remarkable. Rajavari's apprentices knew there was no hope, but they defended their beliefs to the last. Yes, with a different master they could have been great Jedi. Hopefully the principles you've recovered will help you pass into the Fount of Rajavari safely. And once Kaizen brings us the last coordinate... Wait, where is Kaizen? It's been... How long was I working? She's a little... She's a little space, spaced out, a little ditzy, isn't she? I could go and find Kaizen, just to make sure he's alright. He mentioned the waterfall caves, didn't he? If Kaizen has the last coordinate, you can triangulate the fount of Rajivari. There's no time to waste, Padawan. Go, and may the Force be yes. with you both. Yes, Professor McGonagall. Yes, I'm going. Communication system, Jeez. Okay. Now we're in a jetpack. Now we're fast. Weehoo! Let's go. I remember, I remember, I think in um, the last quest I tried going here instead of where I actually needed to go. No, 
this work, but yeah, now, now I'm sure that I need to go here. That wasn't too bad. Another one down. Mr. Nerys Karen wants an igloo. Well, hope they get one. Okay, we got a bonus for killing Twi'lek. Okay, do what's coming. Another one down. Everyone always wants something from me, Jeez. As far as the, uh, this gear set that I put on, um, I have seven pieces of it equipped, so basically the entire set, which means that I get 50% extra experience, which is so nice. Not even a challenge. Everyone wants something. Did Naylan hurt you? I You said you get Jagannath points from hunting. You could start again. Kaizen, Master Yuan has been at the Jedi Temple for hours. Nalan must have used some force trick to make you think he was Yuan. He can find it. Whether he can enter safely without the clues I've gathered is another matter. This is nice. You can you can choose the role of your companion on these starter planets. I always uh, use DPS just because why not? Because it is not sad like it's DPS. That's, 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 that's going to be faster. This is almost like playing a PC RPG game on the lowest set difficulty setting possible because this plays very fast. Well, obviously, it does get faster, it does get more difficult as you progress through the game. That and like the more the more you play, the easier it becomes. Really. So, Okay, there we 
go. I got. I did my um, my questing, my questing, my bo my bonus, my bonus objective. Now go upstairs. Take a take a moment to look around. This is pretty pretty. Uh, pretty pretty. Yeah. yeah. Well said. Well said. Gigi. Gigi. Man. Good job. Okay. Here's this. Sometimes there's a little bit up here. I'm not sure. Oh uh, yeah. There we go. I have to kill the big guy. <laughs> I'm not sure I should do that, but I should do it first. yourself because you lose the PS obviously. Not that it's matters at level 11, but it's still not a good habit to have. Raider. Charming. Oh, and not so dead flesh raider. should be one close to the place. No further, Seeker. You come here unpurified. It is an insult to Rajivari's memory. Rajivari's apprentices were flawed, but they walked the fire and were reborn. Only a personal sacrifice will show your strength and resolve, Seeker. Will you be purified by flame? I will stand in the fire, and show you my strength. Powerful words, but self-sacrifice is the path of a fool. The Fount of Rajivari is not kind to intruders. Flee, or suffer. Oops. Oh well, at least the book hasn't approved. Oh wow, uh, cool. I'm I, I was on fire. Did you see that? I was literally on fire. Uh you uh, you so you uh, you made it after all. <laughs> I hope I hoped your head would be Nayland's trophy by now. I came here to prove Gee. myself He's to so Nayland. Charming. But the traps it doesn't matter. You're the enemy. If I can still 
hold a blade, I can stick you in the heart. I will not fight one who is injured. Mercy leads to a spiral of destruction. You don't belong here. Your ignorance should devour you. But all things in time. today. Oh, great. I will not die without a fight. Of course, here is the other. Seekers of forbidden knowledge always have their pursuers. If what precisely are you? Your pet is brighter than he looks. When my body failed me, I refused to become one with the Force. How could I? The Jedi were still imperfect. You. Your wisdom and knowledge were preserved through you and these devices you created. I have waited for new acolytes. I believed Nalin Raloch was a suitable candidate. Disappointment. Nadlin walked through the traps instead of solving them. He saw. You at least survived with your mind intact. Nadlin, alas, did not. I know the knowledge he gathered was twisting his mind. I miscalculated. Nadlin's mind wasn't equal to the wisdom he demanded. I have made not a successor, but a monster. Nalin will not remake the Jedi. He wishes to destroy them and everything else on this world, beginning with the Great Forge, where lightsabers are made. Without the Forge, the Jedi lose their martial power. You must stop Nalin before he destroys it. I thought you intended to destroy the Jedi. You attacked the Council. I sought to cleanse them, to begin anew. Nalin wants only ashes. That weapon won't suffice against Nalin, but you carry the hilt of the first blade, an old friend. A simple procedure would convert it to a working lightsaber hilt, and perhaps a crystal from the forge caves to power it, given its age. I appreciate your guidance, Master Rajavari. Pass through the cave. I understand what's at stake, and what you've made. I'll find him. Stop Nalin before he destroys the Jedi Order. Someday, I will see it saved. And so we've encountered a Force Ghost. Customization. Uh, 
customization is something you can just pop into the slot and your character will looks like your companion will looks like the different like in this case Kaizen got two functioning eyes. Which is really nice. Alright now we are gonna run 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 the cow. Run the cow. Someone killed the mobs on the way here, so we get a clear path out, which is nice. Great, of course, I'm going to run into a lamppost. It's just so difficult. Okay, so these, these things, they are companion gifts, they uh, come in, dif in different types, like this for example, a weapon, uh, and this uh, trophy. I thought trophy would be as well, but it is not. Uh, so every companion has a preference when it comes to companion gifts. 
given us for so, the teacher. You always want to give given uh, us gifts for the teacher. Large or more or at least large amount of experience and obviously um, green gifts gives a small amount of experience, blue more and purple more. So and orange more than that. So you always wanna uh, see on leveling uh, your companion's rank, then you can do that. But like for example here I see there that it says which role they are and what their rank is. So this influence rank with every rank that they get uh, they become more efficient with the crew skills and they also hit harder so the bigger rank your companion has the better functions as a companion This will require a lot of concentration. If you could look out for me. have two because I already had a lightsaber equipped. See this, this here, this is the difference between a short lightsaber, the one that I have, a short one, and the, the no, normal one. See? Okay, let's go, let's roll with this one, I guess, and uh, pop a master thing? A crit crystal in it? For the heck of it? Okay. 
Okay, finally time to confront Nalan Rollock with his two sidekicks. Let go! Time to kick some ass. Fitting that it's you, armed with the last lightsaber this forge will ever make. Mm. Look at her! Another Jedi to nod and preach and do nothing while the Flesh Raiders ravage our home! I know Rajivari's secrets, horrors that the Jedi, this Jedi, have been chasing, and only I can protect us, our families, and our future. I'd like to hear what the others make of your opinions. Nayland, she's done all right by us. You keep saying the Jedi are the enemy, but she's not. I did this for all of you. If you can't see the danger, I'll show you myself. Listen to your people. This is not what they want. It'll make sense when you're dead. Let's have this done. Forgotten the smell of my own blood. I, I yield. You beat Nail and Rollick? Please, you're not going to kill him. The decision isn't up to me. I should consult the council first. But we still lose him. The village needs Nayland's help. How are we going to keep it together? Relying on others to protect you makes you weak. Remember that. We could always depend on him. Maybe we pushed him into becoming this. We can carry Nail into the temple, Master Jedi. He still belongs to us. So there. Ringhorn's look sad. Rakva Grenok. Look at Joss. I'm afraid I don't understand. Herald of the Scorekeeper, what is- Karnis Hisaknak on Dor Nor Basro. The Endek Kribajur Lambasarsk. If you truly believe I'm this herald- From Oras Tajava, Kurkuskara, Orifek Svetod Trangis. Very good. Uh, that was that. Now let's go and quickly do the heroic quest. While I'm still here. So close, so close to getting a fuck dive. So close, so close. Fuck, I'm so cold. Man, it's so cold. What am I doing? What am I doing? What do you do? Like, I heard a Google translated version of the song. And I forget whose song it even is, but it, it was just so silly. And it made it. Oh, great. much slower, which is nice
years ago, I could still die in here. I hate it when people just jump right in front of my face and attack the mobs that I'm killing. Let's try words, shall we? Maybe the battery's not working. Energy level, critical. Data storage, critical. Speech and intellect, nominal. Network access, none. I am the gatekeeper. I have slept for over 20,000 years. I am approaching total systems failure. What precisely are you? I am the information and speech engine of Kaleth. I control data storage, system logs, and historical archives. I appear to be dying of extreme mechanical damage. I, do, I can transcribe any information you desire to a permanent record. This will be your only chance to recover my data. Can't you be repaired? No. I am suffering from a cascade failure. The flaws in my engine are multiplying exponentially, and my death is inevitable. I am not worth mourning. Among the units of corrupted data, the histories of two of Kaleth's great lords endure. With the last of my strength, I can provide you with either the history of Lord Avamaravash, the warrior poet, or the history of Lord Maravada, the silent. Can you tell me what the ancients believed about the Force? Maravada studied the natural energy of the cosmos. He was among those who sought to categorize and name its elements. Atha Maravash, the warrior poet, was a sponsor of the arts and a lover of many women, while Maravada the Silent was a philosopher and a recluse. Atha Maravash fought wars and built monuments to our people's glory. Maravada's reign was a time of peace and learning. You must choose whose history to keep. I kind of want to. I, I, I kind of want to choose this one, but then it's kind of expected of me to do this one. Can I preserve the history once. of Avamaravash, the warrior poet? Just for once. As you wish. This crystal contains the knowledge you seek. Let Kaleth and Tython be remembered. Yes, My sir. purpose is fulfilled. Power drain is complete. Systems now terminating. Goodbye. Do a heroic quest like that, uh, you get this kind of box, um, and it contains a piece of gear. Um, okay, time to go. Time to go. 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 Let's go here.
answer. Hello. Loud screens. So I have a healing ability I don't really need. And a lot of people here. Oh, 145 people on the planet. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. I was like... People, NPCs... Nice. Ooh, I get to talk to the Jedi Council now. Once upon a time I tried to climb to jump on this thing, but so far I failed quite miserably. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the big guys have to say. We've been waiting for you, Padawan. You've already met Master Jarek. This is Master Satil Shan. I've been treating Nalan Ralak. The pilgrims who carried him here told us of your battle. Remarkable. How bad are his injuries, Master Satil? I wasn't sure he would survive. He will. Though it will be a long recovery. Seems we have much to learn about the villagers. Perhaps we should rethink our position. Enough, enough. Padawan, the Fount of Rajivari. You actually set foot there? Please, wow. tell me everything. Wow, woman, you have such screwed up priorities. relics and technology have survived, enough to keep our historians busy for years. You must record every detail for me, everything. Seems you may have been right, Yuan. I apologize to you and your Padawan. No longer a Padawan. She carries a lightsaber. She has proven herself. I have only one last question before her training is complete. At the moment, Nalan Ralak is resting in a Kolto tank. When he's well, what should become of him? Nalan proved he has great strength in the Force. Maybe he has a future with us. And bring reconciliation between us and the villagers. A sound idea. We judge you ready to accept your place as a Jedi. You on, if you would. Oh, that was such a quick time as an apprentice. Before this council, I take from you the title of Padawan. I name you a full Jedi of our order. Honor the past, work for the future. May the Force be always with you. You've done so well, my student. I'm... Master Yuan? Come away. Yuan, 
Can you hear me? Yuan is resting comfortably for now. It seems she's suffering some kind of illness. I can't lie to you. Her condition is grave. We have some of the finest healers in the galaxy. Can't we treat her? You knew Yuan was ill and didn't inform us? What happens now? We're sending Yuan to Coruscant. Our researchers there have been recovering artifacts from the First Jedi Temple. They may have something to cure Yuan. Take a shuttle and join Yuan on Coruscant. She will need your help. I will do everything I can to make her well. Meantime, assure Yuan we will be studying your discoveries about Rajavari. Some of the claims his apprentices recorded bear investigation. When you reach Coruscant, go to our embassy in the Senate Tower and find a researcher called Atros Finn. He'll be expecting you. Good luck. To you both. And may the Force be with you. Finally, 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 finally. Here we go. This is the Republic fleet. Uh, if my game doesn't crash. Okay, good. So first of all, we get... Ooh, that's level 70. Okay, never mind then. Uh, first of all, we get like uh, three outfits um, that we get to choose from for the companion. I do really don't give a damn. Um, but yeah, also we get the experience boost, so now I have like, four of them. I am not sure if I have to take them, uh, but to use them, but um, yeah, but I've got them now. Let's pop this and take a look. Okay, we get two more abilities. One is a bubble uh, for armor. So you usually pretty much use it on cooldown. Do I put you? 
where do I put you? Uh, okay, I guess I can put you here for now. Okay, and this one goes there. Okay, and what else? Oh, okay, and okay, okay, and I have one u available utility point. So as you level, this is the path that you go through. So you gain specific abilities at specific levels. Uh, right now, I have, um, and every now and then, so f this point I just got, uh, the first utility point, then the next one is going to be at level 22, then 30, then 38, then 46, 54, 62, and then at last 70. So every time I reach one of these points, I get an, a utility point. And uh, which means that I can choose one of these. Let's take a look. Uh, Psychic Suffusion Force Wave heals you up, you and up to seven afflict affected allies for for an X amount. Uh, it sounds good, but really, no. Because mostly when you when you're doing group content, uh, you want to keep your mobs in like together so you can AOE them and so if you take that utility you will have to use your force wave pretty much on cooldown so that you can actually get some use from it because if you have this talent and you don't use your force wave then it's literally wasted um, the next one is Jedi resistance it increases damage reduction by 3% now this is usually a good thing to have you always but not always but yeah you want to have this because as a sage you are squishy as a sage you wear light armor and you melt especially if you do good dps so generally you want to have this uh for leveling uh this one tectonic mastery increases the damage dealt by force quake by 25 percent is also quite good um as you've seen on titan you can literally just like uh, kill a pack of weak mobs uh, during one cast unless they're actually smart enough to run out of it which they sometimes might be sometimes not but it's a good utility for leveling and we have pain bearer increases all healing received by five per by five percent doesn't affect redistributed life okay um it's it's good it's good for raiding it makes the life of your healer better uh, easier because that means that all the healing that they do on you is 5% more effective, which is nice. Uh, then we have Dizzying Force, which reduces target's accuracy by 20% for 8 seconds after Force Lift ends. Additionally, your Force Lift affects up to 2 additional standard or weak enemies within 8 meters of the target. Now, this is a purely PvP utility and if you do not plan on doing a lot of PvP, you should never take it. And Benevolent Haste. Benevolence increases the movement speed of the target by 50% for 6 seconds. Uh, this effect cannot occur more than once every 12 seconds. Well, uh, I'm on the fence about this, honest, about this one, honestly. Uh, because for one, um, it can be it can be in some raids it can be useful um, in that if the, if like there is a lot of mechanics that need to be dodged or some puddles that you need to kite or something, uh, then yeah you want to take this and like apply it to the person who's going to be doing the running or kiting. Um, Honestly, it's more of a utility that you take as a healer because then at some point you will get a passive talent for like where like your benevolence can be instant cost some at some points. Uh, I don't really remember off the top of my head, but it it has some uses, but it's very situational. It also has pretty good uh, troll pot potential let's put it th that way so all of the above having been said i will go with jedi resistance for now actually no i'll go with tectonic mastery haha <laughs> simply because i enjoy you as you've watched me level through the entire planet you probably noticed i use it a lot
when I level, so let's go with that. Okay. This one doesn't go away when you click escape for some reason, so you have to manually click it closed. Oh, cute. This icon here means that Kaisen Fest wishes to speak with you in private. Oh my god. Is, dude, looking at this guy, I'm not sure I want to talk to him in private. this priority termin mission terminal it's literally located like right outside of the uh, titan ornamental departure uh, place so you a gate you can't really miss it okay so things you want to do they give a decent chunk of experience and that being said i will wish you a good night for now and i will come back tomorrow with more stuff so hang in there I'm not sure if this is too interesting or not uh, if you have any advice if you have any comments or some criticism whatever let me know um, leave some comments hey, maybe subscribe click a like if you like it yeah yeah it's always nice and you know what um, I've had this song stuck in my head all day today because I've been watching a lot of vids by uh, Caleb Hiles and God can the guy sing it's absolutely amazing it's like um, I've been watching anime Yuri on Ice lately and uh, yeah and I've heard his um, cover of the songs by him and by Caleb and it's amazing the guy's got an amazing voice and he can totally own the song make it his own it's it's amazing I'm the king JJ no one defeats me this is who I am baby just follow me on the top and blah 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 I am I personally I don't think I'm good at healing uh, at singing um, Hopefully I'm better at healing than I am at seeing honestly, but yeah Anyhow, bye bye. Cheers. See you later. I shall be back